Hello, hello guys. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Zachariah the Ghost. I was watching a reality TV show called Living the Dream with Somizi. It's a great TV show. We are currently on season five. I must say I didn't watch the previous four seasons, but I can tell you this one is one of those. And I just love, you know, the first episode simply because of they revealed so many things on this episode. But one thing that I like the most is when I heard McG's voice, Sol Penduka and the ghost lady's voice. You know, they took the snippets of podcast and chill when they were discussing the story of Somizi and Mohali. And that makes me happy simply because of podcast and chill is the biggest podcast in South Africa. In Africa, if I may say. And for me to hear Somizi, including that snippets there, or to see Somizi, including that snippets there, you know, it was a good thing. Simply because of it shows that we are supporting each other. They covered a lot of stuff on this episode. Vosinova was there to support Somizi. Lucia Cooper was there also to support Somizi. And Somizi even made a joke and he said, you know, he fought with so many friends, but he never had a fight with Lucia Cooper. You know, he loved her and respected her so much. As everybody, they are saying, you know, Somizi, he is toxic and he is, you know, not good to friends. He spoke about his late mom. I loved that a lot. And also there was a time whereby Somizi's daughter had a conversation with her mom. She was talking about how she felt about the Somizi and Mohali relationship or a marriage, if I may say. Simply because of she felt like she needed more from Somizi. Somizi couldn't give her the love that she needed. But instead, he decided to give that love to Mohali. So she was hurt by that. I mean, we also, you know, saw her mom mentioning that at some point, you know, Mohali was loved so much in a way that he was even you know, carrying all those expensive bags and all these type of things that was supposed to be, you know, for Somizi's daughter. Somehow, somehow, he was blindly in love in a way that he was spending a lot and he was also spending time and traveling with Mohali instead of, you know, spending time with his daughter. Of course, they were talking about how they felt about the relationship. And... I had so means I hate to call her, you know, the baby mom or the baby mom. I had her when she was saying so Mizzy was busy with that toy boy. I mean, wow, that's how she, you know, called Mohani. And they also mentioned something that I looked at it and I didn't know that Mohani was younger than so Mizzy's daughter. I was like, wow. I understand why she can, you know, easily call him a toy boy. Vusinova was not happy about that relationship also. Because he was like saying, he gave Mohali love simply because of, he wanted, you know, to accommodate him simply because of, so Mizi loved him so much. So that's the reason why he showed Mohali, you know, love. And we have seen Somizi sitting down with the lawyer because he wanted to understand how the situation will turn out simply because of their merit and they're about to divorce. And the lawyer was like saying, according to the law, you need to know that your partner will want 50% of all the things that you owe. And Somizi revealed that they didn't sign the papers. They just had a big wedding ceremony, but they didn't sign the papers simply because of he was always the one who was talking about things, making things happen. Mohali was not even interested into, you know, making things official. And of course, the big elephant in the room, it was when Lucia Cooper was asking if he ever put hands on Mohali. And when you listen to how Sumizi replied or responded, you can understand that, okay, they had that kind of a situation simply because of now. So Missy said, it doesn't matter if I put hands on him or I didn't put hands on him. What people are looking at the most 
is the reaction, not looking at what happened, what caused that to happen. That means people are looking at, you know, what really happened, not looking at the background story. And of course, so Mizi also, you know, mentioned that the issue or the the rumor that we had when Mahalo was like saying so Mizi was even inviting other people in their sex life so that you know they can spice things up. He addressed that issue also. And he said it wasn't more of an open relationship thing. It was something that he wanted to do so that he can spice things up. Since Mohale was not that good, according to him. Now, this is the first time we hear people. Oh my God, when you talk about gay people, you have to be very careful with your weights. I mean, this is the first time we had, you know, they talking deep about, you know, their bedroom stuff, about the dance and all this type of stuff. We normally just know people are dating, but we really don't know, you know, the the deep stuff. And now on this TV show, you know, so Missy is going deep into those details and is even explaining certain things. And I'm like, no, this TV show is a good TV show. And now, ooh, he went deep to address. The issue of the audios which were played online. And of course he was discussing that with Vusinova. Guys, episode one was a great episode of, you know, season five. I just wanted to speak about it a bit. Simply because of it looks like what's going to happen on episode two is going to be more crazy. Simply because of it looks like Somizia's daughter wants to change the same name. And they talk about and all those type of stuff. So that means they have to go, you know, and do the ceremony and pay the damages and all those type of stuff. That means Somizi didn't, you know, do that process. And he was living, you know, the lavish lifestyle. And and I heard also when Somizi was like saying he never thought 2022 or 2021 will bring so much drama. And he even said, my mom is bringing all the things that I lost. Guys, it, it is just one of those good episodes. If you have a chance, just go to Showmax and watch, you know, the TV show. You are going to enjoy it. And I feel like I should review, you know, the TV show. And I'll be, I'll be careful with my words. Because you know what I'm saying? You need to be extra careful, especially when you talk about, you know, the gay community. And I appreciate you guys showing me love and support. Thank you.